Welcome to a lecture on corpus based and corpus driven linguistics. In this lecture, we will focus on the key aspects or characterization of corpus based and corpus driven linguistics. Before we begin, let us stop, start with an activity. Here, I urge you to stop this video and perform the activity. What do the two words corpus based and corpus driven make you think of in a glance? The distinction between corpus-based and corpus-driven linguistic study was introduced by Bonelli and in her words, let us analyze what corpus-based and corpus-driven approaches are. The term corpus-based is used to refer to a methodology that avails itself of the corpus, mainly to expound, test, or exemplify theories and descriptions that were formulated before large corpora became available to inform language study. Corpus-based linguistics adopt a confident stand with respect to the relationship between theory and data in that they bring with them models of language and description, which they believe to be fundamentally educate. They perceive and analyze the corpus through these categories and sift the data accordingly. However, in corpus-driven approach, the commitment of the linguistics is to the integrity of the data and as a whole, and descriptions aim to be comprehensive with respect to corpus evidence. The corpus therefore is seen as more than a repository of examples to back pre-existing theories or a prob probabilistic extension to an already well-defined system. The theoretical statements are fully consistent with and reflect directly the evidence provided by the corpus. The theory has no independent existence from the evidence and the journal methodological path is clear. Observation leads to hypothesis, which leads to generalization and then leads to unification in theoretical statement. Now, we will observe in detail what he is talking about, but we will observe it in separate, distinct manner, not as in a paragraph, but would be easier for you to understand. <coughs> Starting with the corpus-based linguistics. Let us look at its key characteristics. The corpus-based linguistic typically uses the data from a corpus. This data is used to explore a theory or a hypothesis. This is done aiming to validate it, refute it, or refine it. The definition of corpus linguistics as a method underpins this approach. These are the four key characterizing features of corpus-based linguistics. Now look at the key characteristics of corpus-driven linguistics. It rejects the characterization of corpus linguistics as a method and claims that it is more of a theory. It claims instead that the corpus itself should be the sole source of our hypothesis about language. It is thus claimed that the corpus itself embodies a theory of language. Let us review what we just did. But before we start into a review, let us get the key terms which we are going to introduce in the next slides. These key terms are deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is the valid is a form of valid reasoning to deduce new information and conclusion from related facts and information. Okay. Whereas inductive arrives at the conclusion by the process of generalization using specific facts or data. I urge you to go to the uh, point that says process. Deductive reasoning starts off or kicks off with a theory, leads to a hypothesis, a pattern, and the confirmation of the theory. Whereas inductive reasoning starts off with an observation, then we observe the patterns, a hypothesis is formed, and it leads to a theory. Did then come to the last point in here, that is structure. Deductive reasoning reaches from general facts to specific facts. Okay. And inductive reasoning reaches from specific facts to general facts. Okay, like if I were to say 
that all birds fly okay that is general all birds fly then sparrow is a bird then sparrow flies that is me going from general to specific that is deductive if i say sparrow flies sparrow is a bird so all birds must fly that is inductive reasoning that is me going from specific facts to general facts whereas all the other differences i have been provided to you you can go through them um if you go to the usage you can see that deductive reasoning is a bit difficult because you need a theory first and then you need a theory that might that needs to be true so we can analyze it true to a sense that it needs to be somewhat true okay not a completely different theory for a completely different um set of evidences okay maybe your theory is about economics but you are analyzing uh, your language that can't happen your theory must be about language and you must be analyzing language and if you go for inductive reasoning that is fast and easy because you already have your evidence right there there your evidence is your examples then from evidence you can uh, carve out a theory or carve out a hypothesis and that is very easy to do okay now let us move on to the next slide we have already discussed the difference between inductive and deductive reasoning now we will apply what we have just learned to corpus based and corpus driven linguistics so a corpus based approach a corpus based approach is deductive because the reasoning works from the more general to the more specific which is kind of like a top down approach okay the researcher begins with a theory about a topic of interest and then narrows that down into a more specific hypothesis that can be tested using a corpus okay this all means that they have a theory they conceive a theory and then this theory is proved against a corpora okay this is kind of proof read by the corpora data now for corpus driven approach it is inductive in nature inductive reasoning works from specific observation to broader generalization and theory so therefore it is a bottom up approach and the researcher begins with specific observations and measures in order to identify patterns and regularities okay this means that you have already have raw data from the corpora and you from that raw data you make a theory and then this theory is used to explain your raw data so you can see that these two are quite different <laughs> let's go to a summary uh here i have written a general summary i'll read it out for you but then i'll make it even more easy for you and then we will discuss one more point and conclude um generally speaking the corpus based methodology essentially involves a deductive approach in which a given corpus acts as a catalyst helping or act, acts as a you know a base thing or a base element you can say Um, catalyst is a scientific term it means it speeds up your process okay it's something that speeds up a process uh, helping to confirm or refute or a pre-existing theoretical construct in other words it tends to test the truth or falsity of a given hypothesis against a carefully chosen corpus data by contrast the corpus driven approach is inductive in that it chooses a target corpus and through cyclic analysis and interpretation of the corpus data it tends to generalize a rule or some kind of theory finally when the research circumstances allow for both corpus based and corpus driven analysis the researcher may hybridize both approaches combining the merits of deductive and inductive at the same time okay let's analyze from the finally till the end this is a hybrid approach to uh, corpus based and corpus driven linguistic this means that it combines the merits the plus points of both here a corpus based researcher may apply a scheme based on pre existing theory he already had a theory and he is using it that means he is right now applying corpus based linguistics 
but then when the scheme is applied to the data it is found deficient there is something missing in it or it is not that much correct as he wants it to be then he goes on to refine the scheme right now he has shifted from corpus based to corpus driven data okay he's refining it he already has the data available in the form of a corpus and now he is going to coin a better th uh, better theory okay so he goes on to refine the scheme in what could be termed as corpus driven fashion this process is cyclic okay that means uh, if he is applying corpus based it may lead to corpus driven and if he is applying corpus driven it may lead to corpus based studies okay however these two are the basic distinctions under which most of the corpus linguistic research can be sorted out so to give out a brief brief conclusion corpus based studies use corpora data in order to explore a theory or hypothesis to validate it refute it or refine it okay the definition of corpus linguistic as a method underpins this approach to use corpus data in linguistics okay then for corpus driven linguistics it rejects the characterization of corpus linguistics as a method and claims the corpus it should be the source of our hypothesis about language okay it looks at corpus linguistics as more of a theory 